Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, but I play other games as well, and welcome back to Broken Age. Also, look at my fancy midnight moonlighting. That's not what that word means, is it? Anyway, uh, welcome back to Broken Age. Uh, Shay has now fucked off and is not um, uh, in any position to do anything constructive. So we're back with Vela in the land of the Feathery Bastards. Now, um, I've been walking around for a good while here before I started the recording, actually, trying to figure out what the fuck I was supposed to do. And apparently either I uh, completely missed a trick or um, I just, um, yeah, I probably missed a trick. But anyway, I actually had to look up a walkthrough to find out what I was supposed to do. And apparently I'm supposed to use these oversized shoes that I have because they've been exchanged with uh, tiny little uh, fancy shoes here. Use them on the ladder here. If only these shoes would stay on my feet, then Shut I Shut the fuck up and do what I'm saying. Um... Carl was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Now, what I had in mind was that I was supposed to go and get smaller shoes. Apparently, I'd already done that. So, uh, that's it for me and my memory. And uh, now I can climb up here and get the last golden egg. And hopefully get the fuck out of here. Because I am sick of these cloud bastards. Big deal, bird. Like, I even need hooks now. Yeah, you can fuck right off. Ah, solid as a rock. Peekaboo. Your worst nightmare. Yeah. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on second thought. Or not. Come back until you get some pants. Why would a bird need pants? Let's just steal the fucking egg and get out of here. Oh, and the music just sort of picked up, didn't it? Yay! Cause we're about to leave this nightmarish hellhole. Please place your offering into the Shut the, the fuck light. up. I am sick of your shit, I'm sick of his shit, the guy upstairs, I'm sick of their shit, I'm sick of the little girl's shit, and I'm sick of that mopey little bastard down in front. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? Haven't you heard how to shut the fuck up and let me get on with it? Hang on, before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Yeah, go off and think about that. What does this want for me now? Ah, uh, that's what it wants for me. I think I am gonna move. I'm gonna take all of this shit with me! My bowels. I'm not. Finally, we get to do something productive. I hope. This just turned into Broken Age, the Quentin Tarantino story. God, it's happening! They're coming! Well, he's a little high strung, isn't he? So, yeah, let's just look around his ship before we go down and talk to the obviously petrified person. Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. Ah, uh, it's made of metal and guys and sharpened bones and... Okay, I'll just pick it up then. I'm just stealing his shit. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far. Let's go for more. Uh, can I just murder you? Are you using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. The watch start what talking, right? Can I murder him? Look, look, really. I'm, I'm sick of his shit already. I haven't even talked no, to him. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? At this point, I don't really. I do have feelings, but you didn't hurt them. That old spruce thing. Or maybe, hey, who are you? Too many My drugs. Name is Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Common mistake, because I. Do you look like a tree? Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? I don't know. Stop doing it then. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. 
If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can help you with that. YouTube joke! Like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. I meant it. Uh, tree I was really, really going for it. Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? I don't know. An escape plan? Something, uh... A weapon to kill a the weapon fucking to beast. to kill Malchathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about... A nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Maybe you should try going to the bathroom. Haha, ha, YouTube joke number two. Okay, sure. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Again, I... Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, catch, catch you later, Curtis, because Curtis, you're weirding me out. Trees. Oh, beware the fucking trees. Okay, let's have a look around his shit. His shit is apparently unimportant. What the... That, that, hey, here's some wood. That's that trees. Wood a vital security function where it is. Yeah, right above the fireplace where you're gonna set fire to the whole fucking building. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. You already stole this fucking glass stained window thingy, so Someone's what? Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. Okay. You are completely off your nuts. You ripped the trees out of this painting too? No, that one was ripped when I bought it. Wear and tear are part of the charm of a vintage item. No, it isn't. Okay, I'm leaving. Where the hell am I now? You're not seriously going back up to the fucking clouds, are you? I swear to God, I will end you. You are, aren't you? Okay, back the fuck down. So let me get this straight. I got one new location. I thought it was going to transport me to uh, somewhere new and exciting, and what I got was this paranoid douchebag's cabin. Okay, here's an idea. This is a tree. Are you paying attention? I will now do damaging business to this tree. You fucking... Now, to business. Well. If I could chop this tree down, and it fell on Curtis's house and crushed him... That would be swell! I feel right about the trees trying to kill him. So we're not going to? Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low-hanging branch. Let's see if we can do something constructive around here. Evidently not. Lady, I am getting sick of your shit. I feel like I'm literally accomplishing Sorry, nothing in this game. That way to the giant fruit tree. Maybe it's been too long since I've played this, but I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. At least in Shay's mission, I had some sort of clue as to what the objective was. Hey, well Shut the fuck up. For this part of, the, you know, for Vela's bit here, there's just, there's just no objective other than get the fuck out. And she's not really that keen on doing it, I guess. Well, I'll let you get back Shut up. All I have is an extra location, and it does nothing. Zilch. Okay, let's just talk with Doofus hey. again. Hey, Bella. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something practical, but unique. I've got just the thing. How about... We've been over this. Stool. Hmm. Hey, about this art. Yeah? Oh, now I can ask him about the art. What was the point of that? Uh, can I have it? You're bothered by its elitist themes, aren't you? Its elitist themes? You I probably would be. Art critic. I had such a superficial understanding of the work. 
How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Well, can, can I, have, I have, it? have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Oh, now you're you getting fucking art critic up. I had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay, okay. I will. That was a stupid Catch fucking later, dialogue Curtis. puzzle. Beware the trees. Shut up. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Oh, would you shut the fuck up? Okay, so can I... Wait a minute. There's an exit there? Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? Oh, and when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an exit. Well, that was actually kind of obvious. It was glowing and everything. In the other direction. Shut up. Would you... I am sick of this guy already. Wait. East? Or was it... West. Meh. Okay, so we're finally exploring. We can actually go outside. I was unaware of this. Let's check his mailbox. Hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. What's a pity? Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? What do we care? Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Looks all right to me. What What's is this thing? Supposed to be a little man with a bad haircut. Well, can I just? Apparently, the tree can't talk. Can I, I, I just? I have a feeling I might regret this. Really? Ouch. <laughs> Thrilling psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a run! You're telling trees okay, to run. Look, I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! I like how this suddenly turned into tree murderer simulator. Oh, God. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. I can. It makes me sick. Please yeah, don't scream you anymore. Stop you screaming. Can't me. I'm going to wake up this whole forest. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? At this point, oh, yes. Puke. I'd actually like to see that. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's you should be. And I'm full of it. Yeah, you oh, are you full are. of it. Yeah. <laughs> For once in our brief history together, me and Vela are actually thinking the same thing. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sound. Is this gonna go on for much longer? I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Maybe you need a change of, uh, uh, you know, a change of mindset. Maybe this is really very, very I'm fanciful, of and I'm just being way too cynical. Because, I mean, after all, we are having a conversation with a talking tree. That really? we just yes. stabbed in the, the mouth with an axe, spruce, and then we branches, killed another tree just for the hell of it. Again, this this guy is really all about the uh, sickness. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He he butchered her, turned her into a a stool. Oh, oh God, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Okay, I see I what we need to, to do. Your screaming. Yeah. Please leave before I vomit you. Yeah, I get it, I get it. You you really... I'm, I'm, I have to... Okay, sure, I have to make you vomit. So. I've got a ladder in my pocket. 
Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from their loft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Oh, shut the Dang. fuck up. Okay, so I'm, I'm apparently I'm, I'm supposed to make this guy barf uh, for whatever reason, because sap won't actually produce wood that I need to make the stool. I don't know why I need to make a Hello, stool, but Looks now like I'm in Shellmount. At least we have a new and fanciful location to explore. Uh, this is more like it. These seagulls seem to really like fish guts. Like everyone! Who doesn't? Oh look, driftwood! Oh, now I feel like I'm actually doing so something. Cool. Driftwood. Yeah. These fishing poles are useless. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. Now this is Let's more to my liking. You tell them, non maiden The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Righty ho. So this is one where the uh, the monster is going to appear. I know I, I'm supposed to be talking to these people, but I just want to see what the rest of this location has to offer. And then we're gonna go explore uh, the personalities of the people here. I mean, holy but Jesus! A sighted stranger approaches. Hello. Not so fast. Sorry, Bobbin. Holy tear gas? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's beat her. The dead eye god sees no one. This game just picked up. I was all fucked off in, uh, a, a second ago, and now we've got holy tear gas and staffs and people in robes and the beachfront and, uh, and two maidens about to be eaten by the fucking Cthulhu sea monster. I am all over this. Now we're back in someone's good graces. Mine. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? No, I just want to go through the door. You guys can keep your holy shrine. Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. No one! Unless. What? Well. If she could solve Ooh, the riddle riddles! If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Hit me, babies. No problem. Yeah. Um, um go on could again. Could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet reward, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed. Well, that's some serious poetry right there. Long after I am dead. Well, yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Can do. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Mm -hmm. Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. I just got a gun. I just hey. got a gun! This is gonna Bye. be awesome. <laughs> you know what? You Since I'm on such a high, I'm just gonna leave the video right here. And then I'm gonna go explore and talk to all these wonderfully mad people. I love cults. I love idiots. What the hell are they doing? Um, this is gonna be fantastic. I'm leaving the video right here. That was such an emotional roller coaster. I was from, uh, what the fuck does this game want from me? What a terrible piece of shit game design to, uh, ooh, cults! Tear gas. Uh, maidens about to be sacrificed. This is going to turn out awesome. So I'm going to leave it here enthusiastically. And I will uh, see you guys for the next episode. Uh, please like, subscribe, do whatever your kids do. But do leave me a comment. I do love the comments. And uh, I will see you guys around the Chrono stream.